a child prodigy who decides that he needs to steal gold from a fairies. I know, I know, typical. Right? Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, I have this awesome fantasy book to review. Artemis Fowl by Ian Colfer himself, criminally good. And let's get right on to it. So, this book is about a child prodigy named Artemis Fowl, who is the latest, well, heir to the Fowl criminal organization, or whatever it is. He has his loyal butler, his bodyguard, who is extremely well-armed and well, po really powerful in the martial arts. And he's pretty much good. And he discovers that Fairies just might exist, and he finds a fairy who has the book, which is a sort of fairy bible that has every single one of the fairy rules written in it, which is pretty cool. And he gets it in his hands, figures out how to read it, read it and he basically decodes it, and he decides to kidnap a fairy for a ransom of gold. So. That's great. <laughs> and Artemis Fowl, well, is it can't be thought as evil. He is a main character after all. He's a genius, he's a child prodigy, but what he's doing right now is pretty evil. It gets better as it goes on to the series, but he is ultimately a criminal, let's be honest here. And I really like this character because he's kind of snobbish and he's also always well-dressed James Bond style, which is hilarious. A criminal dressing up as James Bond, you know, hilarious, and and the book was super enjoyable, and it talked of fairies who lived far underground with gnomes, dwarves, and all those guys, and this particular fairy named Holly Short decides that that was sent on a recon mission because she needed to, because a troll was attacking. And then she needed to she needed to do the ritual, which was a monthly thing that she a fairy was supposed to do to rep, replenish his or her magical supply. And Holly Short needed to do that, and she sprang Artemis's trap. Artemis was waiting for Holly Short. He he didn't know who would come after all, but he did know that this spot was good for the ritual which meant that he was waiting for Holly Short. And he immediately found Holly, put a track dart on her, and um, kidnapped her. But the fairies are, well, annoyed, and they don't know who they're dealing with. They don't know, they just think it's a, it's a boy, it's a 13-year-old, 12-year-old boy, whose name is Artemis Fowl, he lives in a, castle like structure has billions of dollars sure but he's not that much of a threat or is he artemis is a mastermind he's a planner he is a genius whose iq is pretty much higher than albert einstein and he can outsmart anyone to to be honest i think you really should read the book because how it's planned out, how it's funny, how the fantasy is planned out, it's super unique. I mean, the first time I heard that dwarves eat dirt and then uh, farted out. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to read the book to understand the joke, but you really should read the book. And there's a new Disney movie coming out, but I'm pretty sure that's like completely different to the book, probably. So I'm kind of excited, but not. And of course, this book isn't that high level, but it is definitely one of the most enjoyable fantasy novels that I have ever read, including the Percy Jackson and Harry Potter and Chronicles of Narnia, Land of Stories, and all that whatnot. And yeah, it's an extremely awesome book, a must read, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. I know, I know, it's, it has big letters and all dwarves and elves and whatnot, but trust me, you're gonna enjoy it.